ductile cast iron. For a loop. For a collet chuck that I'm making from a rough casting. Let me tell you, this son of a bitch is rough. Turning it kind of fast, that's why the sparks are coming off, but at the expense of a few carbide inserts, cheap inserts, it's not that big of a deal. It's not stressing out the machine, but it is colorful. I might video a few more. What I had to do is turn this rough casting down to where I can grab it with the four jaw chuck. Grab it here. And I needed a smooth spot to indicate here. This is also freaking rough. There's no way I could run an indicator on there and get it where it's going to run true. <clears throat> also, I ran a boring bar down the middle of it. Uh, this thing was so out of round. It's ridiculous. So now we've got it trued up. If you, when you run it, you can see that this center is now running nice and true. I had to bore it out a good bit. But a 5C collet is 1.24 inches, and I'm right at 1 inch right there. So we still got plenty to play with. But I've got a lot of machining to do on this uh, loop. It's called a loop collet chuck. As you can see, it's uh, got it right there on the uh, cast and the loop collet chuck. But when I bought it, uh, I didn't realize it was going to be this much machine, and I've still got to do the back plate. And I've got to machine all of that inside out. It's going to be a major project. But anyhow, it'll be fun.